All right, another little update here. Got all the uh, brand new fuel injectors put in, put four new injectors. Um, the uh, rocker arms on all the uh, the valve timing, the valve lash is adjusted. Um, so right now I'm working on getting the high pressure lines connected, the return lines here. Um, now that I've got that torqued, I can turn these back. Um, get the return lines for the top of the injector and the high pressure supply lines attached. Uh, then I'm going to put on the um, the exhaust manifold. Um, this doesn't really. This has kind of a built-in intake manifold on on this particular um, John Deere diesel. Uh, it just has a pipe coming in. Into and the, and the manifold is, is just integrated into the cylinder head. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm going to have a brand new radiator for it. Uh, the radiator that was on it, I went and took it to a radiator service, and it was shot. So I ordered a brand new one, repainted and reattached the oil cooler uh, to the side of it. So yeah, that's a brand new one, and. Um, going to get the cooling system hooked up because once I crank this thing, if everything goes according to plan, I'm going to go ahead and do a run in on it. And I'm going to let it run for about an hour. Uh, so I definitely want to have the cooling system uh, operational. I'm probably just going to put water in it uh, for the first pass just in case I have any trouble or leaks or something. You know, I'm not wasting a bunch of uh, antifreeze. So I'm going to do water and if everything checks out real good before I actually, you know, hook up uh, to the bush hog for the break in, I'm going to... Um, Sw swap it over and put the put the correct corner. All right, another quick update here. Moving right back right along here on the uh, on the reassembly. Uh, valve cover is just sitting there loosely because uh, I have not cranked it yet, but I'm getting ready to. Uh, still have to fill up, uh, put a new fuel filter, and you can see that the sediment ball there is completely empty. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna pump. Uh, fuel into here and get these lines uh, pressurized. Uh, new radiator is installed nice and shiny. I've got all the all the oil lines, the radiator hoses. I just got done putting the oil pan back on. I went ahead and put new hoses top uh, top and bottom. Um, I said brand new radiator here. Uh, I got all the injectors in, all the return lines on. I left these high pressure fittings loose here because uh, when I have to bleed them out. <clears throat> so really, all I have left to do now is fill it up with oil, and I need to put some water in the radiator, and we'll be ready to crank up. So uh, pretty exciting here. She's finally going to hopefully breathe back to life without any problems. Um, got some John Deere break-in oil there. So I'm just kind of going over a mental checklist here to make sure I did everything, but I'm pretty sure other than putting fuel in the lines and putting coolant in the system, I've got everything covered. Um, so I'll hopefully get it cranked up here in a few minutes and do the, do the run-in for about half an hour. And then I'll uh, retorque the head bolts and put the sheet metal on, hopefully, if no, no major leaks or anything.
put the valve cover back on there. We'll get her warmed up real good. Stay tuned. All right, final video clip here on the John Deere 2030 rebuild. She's back together and has already spent a couple hours bush hogging and uh, just getting some some medium duty work to get the rings, piston rings seated. Uh, she went back together just fine, cranked right up as you guys saw. There is not a single leak of oil, fuel, or coolant anywhere. Not a seep. There's nothing. Um, so, brand new radiator. Keeps it very, very, very cool. Is over. It's got bra John Deere uh, break-in oil in it, break-in plus. It will for the next 50, maybe 100 hours, but definitely the 50 hours when I, when I give it this first oil change. Break in. And there it is. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching the, the rebuild. If you like the video, please be sure to like it, subscribe, and I'll be sure to put more videos up for you guys. Thanks for watching.